Welcome back to Wake Up America Weekend. A recent survey from Pew Research saying that reducing crime is among Americans' top priorities this year. Despite that, 2024 has been marred with all sorts of crime, ranging from squatters taking <laughs> homes to murders and more. Here to help break it all down with us is spokesperson for the National Police Association, Betsy Brantner-Smith, along with president of Crime Prevention Research Center and author of the book, Gun Control Myths, John Lott Jr. Welcome to both of you. Uh, it's Easter weekend, so happy Easter to you and your families. I want to jump right in. John, uh, let me start with you. A federal judge in Illinois uh, this week ruling that the Second Amendment of the United States Constitution protects the gun rights of illegals. Now, this is after an illegal who was arrested back in 2020 for possessing a handgun in Chicago appealed the case. The judge saying that the Constitution resumptively protects firearm possessions by undocumented persons. Now, I'm not a, I'm not a legal scholar. I did, I, you know, you are. I, I'm a lawyer, but not a scholar <laughs> by, by any stretch of the imagination. But don't you have to be a legal citizen to buy a gun? I mean, don't you have to have certain documentation to get a permit and so on? Right. I mean, well, the person was illegally carrying, didn't have a concealed carry permit in Illinois. Uh, they had lied on the 4473 in order to uh, get it, so that's a felony, too. But, I, you know, this was an Obama-appointed judge. I don't think that she really seriously held the view uh, there. It's just, uh, you read the decision, and it's, it's a pretty weak decision. She doesn't really even provide much of an explanation for why. I mean, it's one a few pages long. Uh, she doesn't really go through the history of, that you'd have to go through with the Bruin decision. My own guess is that she thinks that she's being too cute by half and just trying to create what she thinks may be problems for the interpreting the Second Amendment. And, uh, you know, I, I, I think... Uh, the it, weird thing is you have all these Democratic judges who uh, don't believe law-abiding American citizens should be able to go and carry concealed handguns. Uh, and yet you have this one saying that illegal aliens should be able to do so. Betsy, uh, there's a frightening epidemic now that we're seeing on the streets of New York where random women are just being punched in the face uh, by men that they don't even know just at random. Uh, it seemingly is for no reason as well. It even got the attention of former uh, Real Housewife uh, Bethany Frankel, who mentioned on social media that she was attacked. Uh, what can be done about this? Well, women need to get their faces out of their phones, take a look around at what's happening around them, and if they live in a jurisdiction, which isn't New York City, where they can legally carry a, a firearm, then perhaps they should do that if they so desire. Here's the thing. The NYPD did arrest one 40-year-old man with an extensive criminal history who committed some of these attacks. And... Uh, this is the problem. We keep putting people back on the street. He did three of these in the last couple of months. We have got to roll back bail reform, get district attorneys serious about putting people in prison, and people need to get serious at the ballot box to make all this happen. Yeah, very, very quickly, John, uh, I didn't want to let you go without taking a, a very quick look at this, what I call an insane criminal story we've seen you know, a lot of them. But, you know, the Google Street View cars, right? They, they take all the pictures as they drive around for uh, Google Maps. One guy who was driving one of the cars decided to lead police on a 120-mile-per-hour uh, chase, wow. cra crashing into the, the Indiana Creek. Um, you know, the driver pled guilty this week. But, I mean, how, how could you... I mean, what is going on here? Your, your whole car is a <laughs> camera, right? I mean, is this guy just an idiot? Well, he could be an idiot, but I agree with Betsy's main point there is that you have to make sure that there are real consequences for people who go and commit crimes. And unfortunately, we're we're kind of in a world where, you know, if you don't make it risky for them to commit crimes, they're going to go and commit more crimes. I also would add one thing, and that is for women, uh, you have to make it easier for them to go and protect themselves. Yeah. Uh, women benefit much more from having guns than, than men do, simply because the, they're weaker physically. Absolutely. We've got to leave it there. And I would also say we can't prosecute men that are trying to stand up to protect people like the Marine on the subway. But uh, Betsy Branton-Smith and John Lott Jr., thank you so much for joining us this morning. Happy Easter.
Thanks for having us. Happy Easter to you guys. All right, we're going to be right back. You're watching Wake Up America Weekend only here on Newsmax.